See, we're different. <laughs> God knew immediately that we would have different needs and desires. You'll find this out when you marry. <laughs> Trust me on this. You'll be coming to me begging with tears rolling down your chest. <laughs> Give me some insight into the woman's brain and I'll say, <laughs> Think of that. You don't think men and women are different? God looked at the universe and said it's missing one thing and he made woman. God looked at man said he's missing one thing and he gave him a naked lady. <laughs> Still got some people confused. It's in the Bible. <laughs> Well, I don't know we should talk about stuff like that. What if kids hear? Maybe they should hear. If we don't talk about it in church, then we're going to talk about it in school. And let me tell you one thing about church. We're supposed to tell them that this is a sacred covenant. It's so holy and special, miraculous, that you can indulge in it with great joy and gusto. But I do have some parameters that I expect and demand of you. It's worth that much. But if we don't do that, then the schools will just say, just make it easy. You're just animals in a field. It matters what you believe about God. This is what's exciting, 16, and I'm telling you, God's still handing out naked ladies. <laughs> but they're very expensive. <laughs> you want to have one? I'll tell you what God charges. You ready? Marry her. Never. Ever, ever divorce. Commit your life to her, protect her, honor her, defend her, and watch over her until you die. <laughs> That's what God charges. And if you're willing to put in that kind of sacrifice, son, it's worth it. I've had my naked lady for 19 <laughs> years. And it's very good. <laughs> I don't believe it. They're confused. Shall we be telling this to 16-year-olds? See, the uh, older men are looking like very interesting theological God. He's got a smile going to the back of his head. <laughs> you should see me. He's like, tell me more of this Genesis. <laughs> and the women therein. <laughs> Son, your desires are from God. They're good, they're natural, and they should be pursued with great gusto. But he says it's so invaluable that you must commit your life to her. And ladies, if you're not expecting that price for yourself, you don't care about yourself as much as God Almighty does. That's what it's worth. Does anybody teach that anymore? Not in schools. Nope. You got to come to the comedian show. <laughs>